ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் ஹோப் எவ்ரி ஒன் இஸ் டூயிங் கிரேட் இன் த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் சம் டெல் பூமி இன்டர்வியூ கொஷன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ ஹேவன்ட் வாட்ச் மை லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் கோ அண்ட் செக் இட் அவுட் நோ ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் ப்ரொவைடிங் சம் மோர் டெல் பூமி இன்டர்வியூ கொஷன்ஸ் ஸோ பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு அவர் சேனல் இஃப் யூ ஹேவன்ட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் ஜெட் லெட்ஸ் பிக் இன் த வீடியோ ஸோ இன் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் சம் பேசிக் ஜென்ரல் கொஷன்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் சம் கொஷன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஷேப்ஸ் so dalbumi is all about shapes right so you will get most of the questions from shapes so before going to any interview it's better to know all shapes definitions yeah we'll see what type of questions you will get from shapes so as i said earlier you should know all shapes definitions before going to any interview and next uh, what is flow control shape and how you implement it so for this question you have to answer like uh, flow control shape definition and then how you are going to implement that in uh, bhumi integration part and if there is any advantages of flow control shape and then if there is any disadvantages also you have to explain regarding the flow control shape and next what is data process shape so you have to explain what is data process shape and then how we will configure that one and then what are the different options available on data process shape you should answer all the steps clearly one by one and next what is lookup so you have to explain lookup definition and then what type of lookups available on bhumi platform like cross reference lookup sql lookup document cache lookup simple lookup so these types of lookups are available on bhumi right so you have to explain all those lookups and next what is crt so crt is nothing but cross reference table so you have to explain what is crt table and you have to take one example and then you have to explain how uh, you will get output if you pass any input how you will get output you have to explain all these steps and explain something about cache so for this question you have to explain what is cache and what type of cache is available in bhumi and then what is the differences between those caches and next what is process route shape and how you configure that so in bhumi we have one shape called process route shape right so you have to explain what is process route shape and then how you are going to configure and then what is the advantages of process route shape you have to explain all these points clearly one by one and next explain about atom so you have to explain what is atom and then what type of atoms available on bhumi and then differences between those atoms i think it's better to explain all these uh, things i mean what is atom atom definition and then differences between those types i have explained about atom in our previous video so if you haven't watched my last video please go and check it out now so on next something about set property shape so for this question you have to explain clearly first what is property and then what is set properties and what type of properties available on bhumi and then what is the differences between those properties those set properties so you have to explain step by step and differences between set properties so in bhumi uh, we have four types of set properties Uh, say dynamic document property document property process property and then dynamic process property so they can ask any differences between two properties like what is the difference between dynamic document property and then dynamic process property or what is the difference between process property and then dynamic process property or you can get one difference like what is the difference between document property and then dynamic document property so these kind of questions you will get from set property ship so you have to answer clearly what is the differences between each properties 
and next something about environment extensions so there is a one option called environment extensions to avoid the connection licenses on bhumi so you have to explain what is environment and then what is environment extensions and then how you will implement environment extensions on bhumi and next little bit about deployment if they ask you to tell something about deployment you have to explain clearly from start to end how you are going to create package how you are going to deploy the integration what type of uh, components will include on the packages all those things you have to explain clearly yeah that's it for today's video and i'll provide some more interview questions on next video hope this video will help you to crack the interview if you have any doubt please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye